We're following some breaking news. At least 30 tornadoes were reported in at least six states overnight. Dozens already confirmed dead, and that death toll is only expected to rise. Perhaps some of the most catastrophic damage in Kentucky. We've just learned at least seven people are now estimated dead there. We're seeing a clearer picture of the destruction as the sun comes up. You're looking at video right here of downtown Mayfield and the courthouse. Also in Mayfield, a candle factory decimated to just rubble with at least 100 people inside. Many still desperately searching for their loved ones at this hour. I want to find my wife. <laughs> I want to find her. I hope she's still somewhere safe. I hope she's somewhere safe. <laughs> and baby, please call me soon we get connected. Please call me. I'm looking for you, baby. We've been looking for you. Me, Cameron, the kid, we all looking for you right now. <laughs> The governor touring the state today, first stopping in Mayfield. He gave an update from there just minutes ago. It's been one of the toughest nights in Kentucky history, and some areas have been hit in ways that are hard to, to put into words. Uh, to all of our Kentucky families that are impacted by this, uh, we want you to know that we are here for you. Uh, we love you. Uh, we are praying for you. And authorities in Illinois now confirming at least two people were killed at an Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville. This video showing the extensive damage there. We're told a portion of the roof and wall close to the size of a football field collapsed with people inside the building. Dozens of others were able to escape unharmed. And in Arkansas, a nursing home deemed a complete loss after storms hit the town of Minette overnight. Right now, one person is confirmed dead and several others were trapped inside. Another death was reported in a nearby town.